Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a set based on pie chart. It says data was collected about the passengers that traveled on a train during a week. Passengers above 60 years are classified as senior citizens. We are given a couple of pie charts. They give the age wise distribution of the passengers that traveled on the train. So one pie chart is of senior citizens. Another is of non-senior citizens. So within this, we are given the bifurcation age-wise. Like this is given in terms of degrees. This is given in terms of percentages. And we are given the age bifurcations. Let us uh, read the further information to solve the questions. It says the average fare of non-senior passengers was 200. And senior passengers were given 40% rebate. So 40% relaxation means their fare was 120. The overall average fare is 176. Now this is a concept of weighted average. Or we can solve using allegation the ratio of senior citizen and non-senior citizens. So we are given that senior citizens were paying 120 and non-senior citizens were paying 200 and the net fare was 176. So if we take the ratio, we get 24, we get 56. If you divide by 8, this is 3, this is 7. So senior to non-senior citizens, the ratio is 3 ratio 7. So this information helps us to find the ratio between senior and non-senior citizens. So let us say the number is 300x and the number is 700x. The next piece of information says the number of passengers in the age range 50 to 69 was 2 to 18. Now 50 to 69, how will we find out? 50 to 59 will fall in non-senior citizen and 60 to 69 will fall in senior citizen. So let us read this graph 50 to 59 here and 60 to 69 here. And 50 to 59 if we see this is 50 to 54 and this is 55 to 59. So we need 29% of this. 29% is 203x. Similarly, we will find the values in this range. 60 to 64 is the last one and this is the last fifth one. So this is 200 degrees. Now, 200 degrees out of 360 degrees into 300x. That is the count we will get. So, while simplifying, we get 5 by 6 or we get 100 by 3. So, this is 500x by 3. Now, this total is given as 2 to 1 8. So, if we add 500 by 3 x, we will get 609 plus 500, 1109 x by 3 equals 2 to 1 8. So, this gives us, uh, this is 2 times, so x equal to 6. x is 6, so senior citizens are 1800 and non-senior citizens are 4200. So this is the essential thing we need to find out in order to answer the questions. Now if you have found out the number of senior citizens and non-senior citizens, we can solve for these. The first question says, how many passengers are above 80 years of age? So we need to find 25 degrees. Now 360 degrees is 1800. So that means 1 degree is going to be 5. 25 degrees is going to be 25 into 5, 125. That is the answer. Next question. The number of passengers in the age range 40 to 44 is what percentage more than the number of passengers in the age 70 to 74? 40 to 44 is the yellow one. So 18 into 42 if you do. 18 twos are 36, 3 carries 75, 756 and we need to find 
seventy to seventy four. That is the green one. So this is four hundred. Right. So four hundred. So how much more? Three fifty six more. Upon four hundred, which gives us eighty nine percent as the answer. Next question. It was observed that eighty percent of the capacity of the train was utilized during the week. If one third of total available seats were allocated for senior citizens, how many seats for non-senior citizens were left unutilized during the week? Okay, so it says that eighty percent was utilized. That means four fifth was utilized. Four fifth is six thousand passengers. So that means the total capacity is. Seven thousand five hundred. It says one third was allocated for senior citizens. Twenty five hundred. Non senior citizen. It must be five thousand seats. Now the question says how many seats for non senior citizens were left unutilized? So non senior citizens four thousand two hundred are utilized. Out of five thousand. So we have eight hundred seats which are not utilized during this. So the answer is eight hundred. The last question: sixty percent of the overall passengers were in the age range of twenty to fifty-nine years. How many passengers were below twenty years of age? So total passengers are six thousand. Sixty percent of this is three thousand six hundred. Now we are given this range, twenty to fifty-nine years. Now, if you look at this graph, it gives you values below thirty-five, and it has values uh, like till fifty-nine. So this graph is ranging from thirty-five to fifty-nine and below thirty-five. So if you have to find twenty to fifty-nine, let us bifurcate into three parts. One is twenty to thirty-five. Okay, so we need to find. See, the ultimate thing is below twenty years. We need to find. So let us divide the population in th these categories: zero to twenty, twenty to thirty-five, and then thirty-five to fifty-nine. Okay, why did we bifurcate into three three parts? Is we are given this total. This total can be found out using the graph. Okay. And this total is also known to us. We know how many are less than thirty-five. We know how many are between thirty-five to fifty-nine. We know how many are between twenty to fifty-nine. So let us utilize all this information to get the result. Okay. Now, if we look at twenty-five to twenty to fifty-nine, it is three thousand six hundred. So these two categories total is three thousand six hundred. Let us find out thirty-five to fifty-nine. Thirty-five to fifty-nine. How will we figure out? In this graph, we are given all these values. <clears throat> so we will remove this twenty-four percent. Remaining is seventy-six <clears> percent. <throat> this is seventy-six percent of forty-two hundred is thirty-five to fifty-nine. So forty-two into seventy-six. Let us calculate. Forty-two into seventy-five is going to be. Uh, three one five zero, so you will get three one nine two. Three one nine two. So out of these three thousand six hundred people, three one nine two belong to this category. Three one nine two belong to this category. That means there will be four hundred eight in twenty to thirty five. Now you got total thirty six hundred given. Okay, out of which three one nine two is. Thirty-five to fifty-nine calculated from graph. So twenty to thirty-five years is four hundred and eight. Now we have twenty-four percent of the people below thirty-five years, right? So forty-two ka twenty-four is forty-eight. Four carries hundred. One thousand eight people in this category. Out of one thousand eight people, four hundred fall into four hundred eight fall into twenty to thirty five. That means remaining six hundred will fall into zero to twenty. 
So the answer to this question is 600 passengers. So this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.